Hey, it's Mick again. Um, if you remember last time, we lowered the bit to the tail uh, to the spoiler board. After we machined the spoiler board, I didn't do it officially. Well, I did, but not for this tutorial. So everything's ready. The bit is on the piece of paper. Uh, if you look actually up in the corner, you can see it is where we left off. So now I click on calibrate switch okay, ask me if I'm sure well actually what I'm going to do now is the next time I hit enter it's going to move so I'm actually going to show you what it is so I'm just going to um, move the camera okay bye okay we've got the camera pointing so I'm going to push enter that was the last thing you saw on the screen there we go. Lifts up. Okay. So now we're going to go back to the screen again. So we're back at the screen, and if you notice, we actually have now a blue box next to Z. So what that means is if I jog the router across, you can see it in the upper right hand corner. We'll just move it a bit more. Let me have a look. We'll go back a fraction. Okay, well I'll go back to where we were roughly. Okay, now if I type in Z0, it should go to the spoiler board. So you can see it's in the in the screen, upper right hand corner, it's on the spoiler board, it's pretty tight still. So you do this one time, it's the only time you do it is when you mill a spoiler board. Other than that, you don't do calibrate switch. One time only, unless you've, uh, unless you mill the spoiler board. Okay. So on the screen we have one blue box. I have the, the router here, so if I click on go to X0, Y0, the router will move across to this. Since I have no other boxes, this lower left hand corner is machine 0, X0, Y0, so that's what I'm going to do. So there it goes. But say I want to put a piece of material somewhere else on the table just let me move the router around a little bit I moved it back, you can see it in the screen, I moved it across okay say I've got this board you can't see it, you can see it in the little video at the top I've got the board here what I'm going to do is click on the laser on button, you can see it on your screen so now I'm going to move you back to the table again give me a second so if you look at the table I have turned the laser on, we saw it just a second ago so now I'm going to use my laser locator and I use it for a couple of reasons one of the reasons I use it is if this is a pre-finished door um, I put my laser down on the corner I put a clamp on it very loosely through the T-slots then I jog it down to the other end I adjust it left and right if, as necessary then I put clamps down on all my sides okay 
So and that's how I do that. The second part of the laser, what I use it for, let me just move this one out of the way so you can see it. So I come down to the corner. I got the laser very bright now so you can see it. So I'm exactly right on the corner. And on the, on the screen, I click on laser zero, laser x zero, y zero. So what's going to happen is this router bit will come across to the corner where the laser was. Okay, let me put you back on the screen again. Okay, we're back on the screen. This is where the laser is. I mean where the router is on the corner of the table. So the laser is somewhere over here. So I click on laser zero, laser x zero, y zero, and off we go. So now the router bit is directly on the corner. So if you look at the screen, we now have two green boxes and a blue box. The blue box is the same, that is zero on the spoiler board in relationship to the tool length measuring switch and these ones here are temporary zeros. The green boxes mean temporary. So if I wanted, um, let me grab my if I wanted, I could um, jog this and jog it there. Um, say for example, I had a square board or, or, or a door like I said earlier on, but this time I wanted to put a carve in or a 3D in the center of the door. I draw diagonals on the door and at the center point I move my laser over the center of the door on the center part mark and hit laser zero uh, laser x zero y zero and it will that will be my x y zero that will be my start for the for my x zero y zero so just imagine there's a door in here this is the center of the door I click on there there we go. So the greens, the green boxes, are purely temporary. Um, you can have them wherever you want. Since we're working off the spoiler board, we do not want a temporary green by Z. Okay, I hope this makes sense. We'll carry on further.